There, I think I put that quite fairly, didn't I? Okay, so... Welcome back! Hello, luggage! So how's everyone doing? Alright, so, alright, you might notice a little bit of difference here. I mean, I'll start off with I've built an awful lot since the last time we're out. This, this entire road to start off with, that's all new, but... Uh, um, I've had to lower the quality of the graphics down an awful lot, and I've also introduced Optifine because, quite frankly, this game was getting too laggy to work. Uh, but this seems to have improved things an awful lot, except for around these barrels, which you can see have got horrendously buggy. But I intend to get rid of them soon anyway. So... Uh, I have a headache from hitting my oven. Okay, well, I suppose it's one way to end it all, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, so, right. Uh, oh yes, another little bit of road. We're going to start off working in this direction soon as well. And, uh... But first of all, there's something... Whoa! See what I mean about lag? That was a lag spur. There's something I want to do first, but first of all I want to show you guys a couple of things. Last time we were playing this, I built a new farm, which was this one here. And so we were growing we were growing lots and lots of lettuce. And if you look at this here, look at the inventory. Hell's kitchen. We're not very far in it. We're only, we're only what nine percent. We're nearly ten percent in it. Um, but we wouldn't be anywhere near that if I hadn't built these two farms as well. So this is more lettuce, and this is yet more lettuce. So we've got tons of lettuce growing. Uh, at the same time, I thought I might as well build another farm. So I built this one, another field. I've built this one, and so we're doing the uh, the tomatoes as well. Hello, Wendy. Uh, so let's hope your computer doesn't freeze. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing this one as well. So uh, we're 37% into this one already. So these quests are going to get done quite quickly, I think. Uh, so, uh, then we're going to have to start working on the more complex ones, which for these ones we have to grow stuff and then process it in order to use it. So that be sad. I built a, a chicken coop, but uh, Though I think it looks quite nice, it's absolutely useless in the fact that uh, 10 seconds after our maturing, the chickens all escape, so that's quite, quite working for me yet. Uh, I shall have to work on the design a little bit, but it's still going well. Oh dear. Yes, Shizzy's... Shizzy's minion, Blipbot, is in the house. And, uh, yeah, Shizzy would turn it off, but she's too busy laughing maniacally and stroking a white cat to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do anything to help, I'm afraid. The other thing I built is I made myself a new energy cell, a resonant energy cell. You think these ones have got 400,000 RFs in? This one's got 50 million, or at least it will when it's full on. And to help it fill up and not destroy everything else, I've got the uh, reactor here turned up to full power for once. It normally runs at about 30%. So we're actually producing 1.21 kilo, kilo RFs, which is not enough to send a DeLorean back in time, unfortunately. Um, I thought you were going to make someone else a mod. Yeah, I wonder who would that be, Too Many Fandoms. I wonder who that would be. Hmm, I wonder who's hinting that they'd like to be a mod. Hmm, Too Many Fandoms, who would that be, hmm? Oh, you, yes. Be good. 
Everybody obey too many fandoms or she'll tell you off. Okay, right. Oh, she wanted the name in green. I'm sorry of it, but... I'm going to do something a bit weird here and take all the stuff out of my inventory. When I say weird, I mean weirder than usual. Oh, that's a point. I I died while... Uh, I died by making a chicken coop. Because I needed to get some of the red wood and you can only grow it upside down. So I put the tr planted the tree up there and grew it down. And as the sun set, there must have been a bit of wood a mob could spawn on. So all of a sudden there was a... And... I ended up going one way and all of my stuff went going the other way. But fortunately... Fortunately... The only thing I lost was my mattock, and I'm, I'm regrowing another one, maturing it up. Okay, I want to get rid of this. There we go, and we'll just put that back down again. There we go, uh, because there's something I want to test. Now, I've got no spawn, which means I should go at the default spawn point, which should be out in the middle of nowhere, guys. So... Let's see if I fix that particular problem. Whee! Ooh! Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Uh, uh. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh no! Oh! Oh, I just wasted a life, you git! Yeah! Right. Let me... Ouch! Ooh! Ouch! Thump! Ooh! Ouch! There! That's better! There we go. I've now got... I've, uh, <laughs> all the way out here. Um, so we can... I will not die out in the middle anymore. So that's great. I've wasted two lives testing it out, but... What on earth? Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, let's change that. Controls all. Sprint. Uh, let's make that. There we go. That. Uh, where's the sprint button? Okay, alright. Where's the sprint button? Oh. I should just have to double tap forward to do it. Okay, right. Yes, I've switched over to Optifine as well, so hopefully that will get rid of some of my lag problems and Anyone who knows me knows I loathe Optifine, so that was a bit of a a blow for me to do. I've got to be honest with you, because I, I dislike that thing intensely. Right. So, this is where we are at the moment, and there's a few things I want to do today. Oh, I was just about to try to jetpack up there when I don't have a jetpack on. Oh, yeah. Um, we've done the most important one. I now know that if for some reason my spawn is blocked, I will land somewhere safe, so I can put this back. Like that. I put all the work I put in removing lag, it's still laggy around here. It's really frustrating sometimes. Oh lord. Oh, I didn't, did I? Oh, that was stupid. Do you know what I've just done, guys? I just died wearing a backpack. Uh, not the backpack, the jetpack. So I'm now jetpackless. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go, I suppose. Easy come, easy go, right. Um, What else do I want on my bar? 
nothing much. Let's just grab this stuff as it comes. <laughs> okay. Alright, um... Ah, well, it's not the end of the world. A jetpack is easy enough to make, and quite frankly, I didn't like the colour of that one, so we should just have to make a more powerful one. But there's a couple of things I want to do today, and I don't need a jetpack for any of them, so I'm not going to particularly worry about it in the slightest. Uh, okay. uh, first thing I want to do is, I, I made this earlier on, and I wanted to start playing with it. But uh, before that, I've got... Um, Quest to turn in. In here. Where is it? It's this one here. So I'd be making. I made some glass earlier on. So I'll claim that reward. That give me a heart back. Uh, and I've got a new quest here. And this is going to be a nice big production one, so they want 10,000 of each type of glass, which I will do later on. So let's use that heart quickly. Like that. There we go. I'm back to 35 lives, which is great. Yeah, this is buggy because of Optifine. It's also causing most of my lag, so quite frankly these barrels are going to have to go. But yeah, I'm going to have a look at this. It's, a, it's an interesting thing. This is the Machinist Workbench. It allows you to actually create schematics. So, for example, that's the schematic for making a hamburger. Okay. Um, that's the schematic for making cheese. And... I, what I want to do here is I want to make a few more schematics in here because I want... This is me, make, um, I'm just having a little experiment with this to see if I can make um, stuff easily with schematics. And then what will happen is um, this is going to allow me to get yeah, that schematic. And the blanks go, I, I, that's how you make salt. Put that on the schematic, clear the schematic out, come back here, and I can just put it back on the grafting grid and make as many as I want. This is going to be, this is going to be something that's going to help me make. Um, let's make all that salt. Where's the rest of the water? Ah, there we go. Alright, it went to my inventory, that's why. Um, this is going to help me make uh, things when it comes to start doing the construction of this. I can, I can build this into the workings of it. So, cheese is like that. So I need to get some soy milk. Let's get a stack of soy milk. Like that. So we'll pop that in here. Like that. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so let's make ourselves a stack of cheese. A stack of cheese plus one. Here. Nuggage. Right, and... Right, what else do we need to make the burger here? We need a, need to know how to make toast. So let's grab some wheat. And we, the problem here is that we can't make toast like that in this, so we just make bread like this. So we'll make bread like that, and we'll put that into the oven to cook. Put half the stack in here. And half the stack in here. And that'll toast away. That'll make us some toast. So that's giving us a stack of cheese, which is great. Uh, so now what we need to do is make the burger. Cheese through that. Yeah, it's that one. So we need some more firm tofu, so let's go and grab that. Yeah. 
This is not much different from doing it on a crafting table like this. The schematics, though, help you um, by automating this, so it should, looks like it could be quite fun. So I shall be doing a lot of that fairly soon as part of my plans. <sighs> because I'm impatient, let's grab some of this toast. And if we put that in here, we then got the schematic stuff to make us 26 burgers. And we might as well come over here over this one because, well, we're cheese and the burgers. This is a cheeseburger. And what do we need to do to make it into a deluxe cheeseburger? We need to add some lettuce and some tomatoes. So let's go and grab some of that. Tomato and lettuce. So one of them, one of them, and our remaining cheeseburgers. There you go. We now have I now have lots of burgers. I'm just I think we'll just do the rest of it quickly. So you can see this is not absolutely necessary for what we're doing, but I can see lots of potential uses for it as part of automated building, so I'll be working on that down the line. Oh, yeah, it has improved an awful lot, okay. Um, I have reasons for disliking it, okay, and um, but i got to be honest with you, there are certain circumstances where it's really useful, like, for example, <laughs> I was um, around here, okay, around here earlier on, before I decided it was time to give up and really do something about it. I was getting three frames a second. Okay, I want you to imagine trying to put things into this barrel at three frames a second. And it was absolute murder. So changing this was a really good idea, I think. Still don't like Optifine. Uh, one of the main reasons why I don't like Optifine is the fact that it changes the way that the game looks. So... Hey! Have a burger! Nom, 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 So if you build something, okay, and just say you build something using leaves, for example. Um, Optifine changes the way the leaves look, and also changes the way the grass looks, and all these sorts of things. So, if you're working on a server with people who are playing, using Optifine, you don't know what your building is going to look like to them. It's really, really frustrating. But, on the bright hand side, I can move! So, I'm going to put up with it. <laughs> well, that's the reason why I put Optifine in, to be honest with you. Oh yes, I've changed the tree I'm growing. Uh, can... Anyone recognize this tree from quite a long way away? No? No? No Monty Python fans in the house tonight, yeah? No. How to recognize these trees from quite a oh, number of... <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a latch, okay. There was obviously nobody watched Monty Python. Sea lantern thingy, this. Astronomy! Sea lantern looking thingy. Um, where, where would I see a sea lantern looking thingy? Do tell me. And I can perhaps tell you where I got it. That spinning thing. Um, still not sure what you mean, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, you write down you write down the bit Oh, 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 oh yes, okay, yes, that's exactly what that is. That is a chunk loader. Okay, that what that does is 
this makes sure let me just open this up show the lasers there we go okay what it's doing is these area this area here as shown by the lasers will never unload which means if I'm off working over there say or where I'm going to be this evening this stuff never unloads carries on growing lettuce and tomato and we get closer to actually doing the quest